It's been a very strange September at Hub City Vineyard. Hagerstown's very own supervillain evil Mr. John returned for revenge after an innocent prank by Mr. Stephen left him feeling uncool. He terrorized the church staff with his pernicious plans, but the brave superhero Polly Proverbs thwarted him time and time again. And so, today, a black cloud hangs over the HCV office. Good morning, Mr. Evil John. Stop. Don't take another step. I can smell your feet from in here, and I don't want my office to smell like smelly feet. Be gone. <sighs> oh, excuse me, Tracy. Can I have a moment of your time? Well, of course, Evil Mr. John. What's up? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind leaving. Leaving? Yes. Uh, departing, vamoosing, skedaddling. Wait, am I using words with too many syllables? Go! Uh, can I ask why? Oh, of course, I'd be happy to. Here's the thing. When I'm in my office and I hear you talking on the phone, your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. When I hear your fingernails clicking on your keyboard, it's like it's ripping my soul apart from the inside. And I have to say, I don't really like the color of your shirt. It looks like a pumpkin vomited on you. Well, I never really knew you felt that way. I guess I can work from home. Excellent. Hey, Mr. John? What do you want, you grotesque grape? Um, well, it's actually blue. Oh, are you accusing me of being colorblind, you, you blustering blueberry? Well, at least you got the color right this time. <sighs> are, can I ask you a question? I guess. <laughs> are, you, are you happy, evil Mr. John? Am I, am I happy? Do I look happy? Of course not. Do you want to be happy, evil Mr. John? Do I, do I want to be happy? I mean, I guess it's, it's not like I'm a space alien or something. Okay, so let's work on this then, right? All right, so if you help me, I'll help you, right? We can, we can sit together and work on different ways to be kind and thoughtful with using the Bible, right? Ugh. And if your dedication, right, to, to doing things the way I'm telling you to do it doesn't work, okay, I will go on a campaign of chaos with you and become evil Mrs. Aaron. Wait a minute. You've been Aaron this entire time? Oh, that explains why I never saw you and Aaron together, huh? Well... Let me kick one more thing, and then I'll give it a shot. All right, I think we've got time for one more scripture summon. Proverbs 16, 24. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Hey, Miss Tracy, do you have a couple minutes for us? I guess. All right, evil Mr. John, lesson one, using kind words. I want you to think really hard about a nice, kind thing to say to Miss Tracy, all right? All right, I'll try my best. Okay. Mm. 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 I've got it. Tracy, I'm very sorry for earlier, but I'd like to let you know that I think that you keep your nose hair trimmed to an acceptable length. How was that? So it's a big improvement. Great job. Yes. Hey, Sherry. Evil Mr. Hey. John has something for you. Oh no, am I gonna need a bomb vest and a helmet? No, 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 no. Um, Evil Mr. John is working on things, being kinder to people with the Bible. So we're on lesson number two, giving thoughtful gifts. 
So Miss Sherry, I want to apologize for how mean I was earlier. Um, the truth is I like you a lot and I think you're super cool. And so I wanted to get you something so there would always be a little piece of me with you. It's my toothbrush. Oh, well, Mr. Evil John, this is definitely a side of you I never thought I'd see. Thank you. You're how thoughtful. welcome. So, you and Mr. John, have you had a chance to look at your coolness polls today? I haven't. That's a great idea. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's up to 50% coolness. I knew you would be so excited. So, Mr. John, are you happier or are you just excited that you might be getting a new evil sidekick? <laughs> well, Aaron, it is Mr. John. Evil Mr. John is gone and, um, I uh, want to ask you, I appreciate everything you've done. Do you think that I could join you as your sidekick? Oh, even Mr. John, all that wasn't even from me. That was from God, from the book of Proverbs and the Bible. So everything you were doing was from God. Thanks, Aaron. You know, there's just one little problem that remains. I bought all of this evil lab equipment and it seems like a waste to just throw it away. Hey, you think the kids would like it if I filled it all with candy? I think that's a great idea. Next year on Evil Cat John. No. Don't you do it. Bad kitty.